Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and once again, here I am right in front of you and I'm going to answer your question, a frequently asked question. Uh, some of you commented and they asked me this question, what is the difference from uh, what is the difference between British Council and IDP? Uh, IDP is operating in Pakistan as well and here we call them Australian Education Office. So British Council or IDP, where should we take our IELTS from? And some people believe if you take your IELTS from IDP you get a good band score. Others think if we take IELTS from British Council there we can get a better band score. So what is the reality and all that stuff? That's what I'm going to tell you. The first thing is you need to understand IELTS belongs to Cambridge University. IELTS is the property of Cambridge University and all the tests and uh, exams of IELTS or the paper, question papers, they are sent from Cambridge University. They are made in Cambridge University and then they ask British Council, IDP and AEO to conduct IELTS tests. So British Council and IDP, they are helping Cambridge University just in, in terms of conducting IELTS test and that's what they are doing. Now let me tell you what's the difference basically both have got some positive sides and both have got some negative sides as well. Let's talk about British Council first. If you take your IELTS from British Council for listening they are going to provide you state of the art headgear or headphone and they are infrared headphones with the help of those headphones the voice is so clear. I mean imagine when there is a headphone you are totally cut off with the outer world and you are just listening with your full concentration and that is only possible with British Council. They will give you infrared headphones so with the help of headphones you can get a better band score. On the other hand the thing is if you take your IELTS from AEO from Australian Education Office or from IDP they don't provide headphones as yet I don't know about now but uh, they're not providing headphones so when there are no headphones the voice comes from open speakers as there are speakers all around the voice is clear the voice is crystal clear but actually it is it is not like wearing a headphone wearing a headgear so what happens when you are taking your IELTS test there are 300 candidates in one room one large room 300 candidates you cannot control the human noise what do I mean by human noise? I mean if 300 people are sitting you don't know if somebody is under the weather effects and somebody is coughing during the listening test. <coughs> Someone is doing like that and you are trying to concentrate and your, your attention will automatically go to that cough or whatever or maybe somebody is going to sneeze as well during the listening test the answer is going to come and somebody says achoo okay so I mean this factor is there and they cannot find anybody for sneezing they cannot find anybody for coughing and all that stuff right so this is and then there is the noise of of the chairs or somebody is moving and all that the human noise that's what I'm saying so if you're taking your IELTS from British Council then you got the infrared headphones now you gotta be careful with infrared headphones on the top of the head there is the sensor and right in front of you in each row there is a big infrared plate so the direction of your sensor your headphone sensor and that infrared plate should be in the same in the same direction then you can listen to it they're not very very sensitive so you got to just put your head straight you can put it down as well like this and then you can come up as well so when they play the test audios test your headphones very very well adjust the volume as per your requirement and then move your head and see if it is working in this direction this direction this direction all that then it's going to be fine so this is one difference in British Council and in IDP that they provide headphones. British Council people will provide, provide you the headphones and IDP people they are going to conduct listening test uh, in open speakers. So if you are looking for eight bands in listening as some of you often tell me that well I need eight seven 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 means eight in listening and then seven 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 in other three modules then British Council is the best place if you want to go for eight seven seven seven. Now. As far as IDP is concerned, they have their own advantages as well. For instance, if you take your IELTS test from IDP, they are quite friendly. I would rather say they're quite friendly when they are conducting your speaking or when they are checking your writing test. 
nobody can change anything in listening and reading listening and reading test they are the same nobody can change anything about listening and reading because the examiners also they have the answer sheet they match your answer with the answer sheet and then they tick or cross they've got the color things and all that stuff right so uh, but the thing is this as far as speaking is concerned there is the human factor as far as uh, writing is concerned again there is the human factor so it is believed here in Pakistan it's a common belief that if you take your IELTS from IDP or Australian education you can end up getting a good bench score in speaking as well as in writing because in speaking IDP people they give you half band as compared to British Council that's what people believe that's what I'm telling you and I've seen some of my students as well who take their IELTS from British Council and then take their IELTS from IDP or AEO and they're getting uh, improvement in their band scores as well so uh, for speaking yes this is the thing uh, but British Council examiners are also very friendly they are very nice very kind I've taken IELTS twice from British Council all my IELTS both IELTS were from British Council first time they didn't have headphones so they didn't give me the headphones but second time they provided the headphones and the voice was so clear and I got eight bands as well okay so that that's that's one of the things but if you're taking it from IDP or from AEO in speaking and in writing you can get some some half band extra that's what there is a common belief among IELTS trainers in Pakistan I've seen this thing so you can see what is the common belief in your city in your country and then accordingly you can decide but remember one thing if your English is good if your English is fine, then it doesn't make any difference whether you are taking your IELTS from British Council or from AU because if your English is okay, I took my IELTS from British Council and I got eight bands, right? So if I got eight bands, my English is fine, that's okay, no problem. Even if I take it from AU, I'll be getting almost the same bands from there as well. So you got to make your choice. Remember, if you want good band score in listening, then British Council is the best because of the headphones. And if you want to get good band score in speaking and writing, there is a common belief only in Pakistan I don't know about your country right you got to check it with your local examiners and you got to check with other people who take their IELTS from British Council and AEO or the IDP then they will tell you about that okay so I hope I answered your question about British Council or IDP but remember IELTS belongs to Cambridge University and British Council and IDP or AEO they follow the, the the set pattern and they follow the criteria of Cambridge University very very strictly right Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best whether you take your IELTS from British Council or you take it from AEO I wish you all the best take care good luck